as another lunar night started on the moon we need to talk about what is happening with chandrayaan 3's vikram lander and pragyan rover the spacecraft didn't wake up from its sleep mode even after trying for 2 weeks so does this mean the mission is over chandrayaan 3 landed near the moon's south pole on august 23 and it was designed to last for just one lunar day which is 14 earth days but when the sunlight started going away on september 3 There was a hope that when the lunar day starts the lander and rover which were put to sleep would wake up and continue their work sadly they couldn't survive the very cold lunar night the lunar south pole saw daylight again on september 20 and the first 3 days after that were the best chance for vikram and pragyan to wake up people from the european station in kaurav and istrc in bangalore tried to make contact but There was no response. The head of ISRO S Somada said they would wait until the last day for the lander and rover to wake up. It would have been a chance to do some more experiments on the moon. However, they stayed quiet. So, why didn't they wake up? The rover was put to sleep on September 2 and the lander on September 4. Pragyan's battery were fully charged and it was ready to receive sunlight when the moon's day started again. But the lunar nights were incredibly cold, dropping to minus 180 to minus 253 degrees Celsius. The lander and rover weren't built to handle such cold, and they didn't get any electricity because there was no sunlight. So the extreme cold might have harmed their batteries. Manish Purohit, a former ISRO scientist and expert on solar panels, said that Vikram and Pragyan were expected to wake up after facing these harsh lunar nights. but it all depend on their batteries surviving a former isro chief as kiran kumar said that many parts of the lander and rover might not have survived the extreme lunar conditions these machines didn't have heaters which are commonly used in lunar missions to keep the hardware warm without them vikram and pragyan's chances of survival were left to luck isro hasn't given up completely m shankaran a director of ur rao satellite center which leads the chandrayaan 3 mission set There is still a very slim chance they might wake up after this lunar night. If Vikram and Pragyan never wakes up, ISRO had previously said they would stay on the moon as India's lunar ambassadors since they were not meant to come back to earth. Some might wonder if these machines are now space junk, but an expert named Girish Lingana said no. Space junk usually refers to non-working objects in earth's orbit that can be dangerous to active spacecraft. Vikram and Pragyan are resting on the moon's surface. so it don't fit this description even with all the challenges and the unanswered calls from earth chandrayaan 3's mission can still be called a success its main goal was to softly land on the moon and it achieved that india joins a small group of countries that have done this including the united states china and the former soviet union india also became the first to land near the moon's south pole but chinese scientists claim that chandrayaan 3 landed nowhere near lunar south pole During this mission the rover traveled about 100 meters and made some important discoveries like finding sulfur and the presence of other elements on the moon. One of the most surprising things was when the Vikram lander completed the hope experiment successfully which was in plant but turned out to be a fantastic achievement. We can hope they wake up on the next lunar day. Thanks for watching.